Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Happy Girl Alaska. I am your girl, Terry, and if you are new here, welcome. All right, so in today's video, what I want to talk about, and this video is directed towards the ladies. Ladies, I want to hear from you, do you think Alaska is right for you? And what I mean by that is, and this, this video, first of all, was inspired I'm not gonna give your name, but this video was inspired by a woman who sent me a message through my contact form asking me if I thought Alaska was the right place for her to move because she's looking to kind of um, uproot and change her life. She wants to start over um, and she was offered a job up here and she's really excited. She said based on some of the videos that she saw, on my channel it really inspired her and is motivating her to want to take the leap and accept that job but she's single she doesn't have any kids um so she was like do you think alaska would be right for me and she gave me a little bit of background on who she is and i think alaska would be perfect for her because where she lives right now she lives in colorado and she loves getting out and going hiking and all kinds of stuff and you know it's just i, I kind of wanted to call her on the phone so that we could just talk <laughs> because the conversation was just really good um but what i wanted to do is make this video and some of the things that i'm gonna throw out there is aren't the only determining factors right as to whether or not you want to decide to move to Alaska based on the things that I'm going to talk about. Okay, so let me just put that out there. Um, but yeah, you know, let's go ahead and get into this conversation. And then maybe by the end of the video, you might have some other questions. And if you do put them down below, um, but maybe it'll help you if you're kind of on the fence or you're playing with entertaining the idea of moving to Alaska. All right, so let's have fun with this. Okay, so I would say Number one, if you are the kind of woman who would rather curl up with a good book than go clubbing, if you're the kind of woman who enjoys her solitude, peace, calm, tranquility, um, if you're the kind of woman that is self-sufficient, I have to say, um, that's probably a big one. If you're a woman who is self-sufficient, then I believe that Alaska would be right for you and in particular Anchorage would be right for you. I mean you have some other cities too but you know for me I'm gonna champion Anchorage right um, but I will say yeah if you can check the box on that then definitely consider moving to Alaska. Oh one more thing I wanted to mention and if you have just kind of like a little bit of a sense of adventure you know, for me, like I've said often, is one thing that I love about Alaska, Anchorage in particular, is that living in Anchorage, you have access to like all the modern amenities of any other city, any other major city. Um, but then I can hop in my car and be out in the wilderness within 15 to 30 minutes, you know, depending on what you want to do. There are so many great hiking trails, biking trails, all kinds of stuff and even if you just want to hop in your car for a scenic drive by yourself you know you could take a road trip all of that good stuff okay let's go to number two okay so here's number two if you enjoy getting outdoors and engaging in outdoor activities biking hiking even going on walking trails rock climbing fishing hunting that kind of stuff Alaska is definitely up your alley. I mean, it's nothing to be out on a hiking trail and then to see women that are just out by themselves, you know, adventuring. I'm pretty sure that they're probably packing some type of weapon because I don't really feel comfortable, especially if I'm going on like a legitimate hike. I wouldn't feel comfortable going by myself you'll usually catch me out on the hiking trails with someone. But like I said, those ladies, they get out there, they have on all of their gear and stuff, um, and they're enjoying themselves. Yeah, if you're into wildlife, uh, if capturing photography of nature and that type of stuff is your, is your thing, then yeah, I think definitely Alaska would be right for you. And let me say this, if you're the kind of person who is not really phased 
by cold weather, meaning that in the winter time, you're not going to be freaked out, you know, about getting outside because that's one thing I found made a difference last year was when Percy and I were getting outside in the winter time. I actually enjoyed the winters more. It's interesting. So if you're okay to with um, the change in seasons and actually experiencing a winter and sometimes extreme winters, then Alaska might be right for you. Okay, so another thing I will mention is that living in Alaska, because we're so far away from the rest of the United States, things are a little more on the pricier side up here. So if you're one of those ladies that's really into like name brand type of things, um, the markup is going to be higher than it is, say, if you go somewhere in the lower 48, especially if you go to outlet malls and things like that to get discounts on brand name items. So just be aware of that. You know, if you're one of those ladies that's like really into like, especially high end fashion type of things, then, um, you know, you just need to be aware. Not saying Alaska isn't right for you, but you'll probably have some sticker shock. Um, one thing I will say too is I mean, the cost of living is just higher in Alaska. Um, there are other places in the United States that their cost of living is probably the same and maybe even higher. I would say right off the bat, California and New York, it's more expensive to live there. Um, but we have so many great restaurants. So for me, if I'm taking myself on a date, you know, and I'm speaking to the single ladies out there, um, you have so many options for your dining needs or desires. Um, if you wanna go to a fancy restaurant, you can certainly do that on your own. Um, I've gone to Sweet 100 by myself and I had a great time, ordered a really nice meal. Um, yeah, so the, the restaurants range so many, so many different options to choose from here. Um, but the, the markup is higher, the markup is higher. Okay, and so then I will also say for the straight or heterosexual women that are out there, um, there are a lot of men in Alaska and it seems like the ratio is, is, I thought it was leveling out, but according to a recent article that I read, it's still saying that there are 10 men to one woman in Alaska. And so one thing to keep in mind too is the type of men that you meet in Alaska are going to be, I would say, a little bit different from the type of men that you would meet in the lower 48. And the reason why I say that and I can speak to that is because I've met some men online like a year or so ago, you know, when I was out there online. I don't do that anymore. But um, they're different. <laughs> the men in Alaska are different. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I actually made a video about Alaskan men and it is a lot of it is generalizations, but I've had some women send me messages and they're like, everything you said is pretty much spot on, you know, when it comes to Alaskan men. Um, but yeah, you know, you'll, you won't have a problem meeting a man here in Alaska. I'll just put that out there. I'll put that out there. You won't have a problem with that. So I'm not saying move to Alaska so that you can meet a man, but I don't think it's a bad idea if that's what you want to do. And again, you know, if you're an outdoors type or you're into adventuring or you like to get out and explore, you're definitely going to have your pick of gentlemen to choose from because again, Alaska is geared towards the outdoorsmen. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, you should be able to link up with someone in no time. All right, and um, another thing I will put out there um, if you are the kind of person, so, so here's the thing, right? I would say if I were a single woman moving to Alaska, I would do my best to try and get signed up on some of the Facebook groups that are up here. And if I can remember, I will put some down in the description box that I think would be helpful for you. But um, if you're the kind of person who is open to building or finding some type of community, I would say definitely Alaska is for you because I wouldn't recommend coming up here and just kind of being isolated into yourself. You know, I would say make an effort to make friends, make an effort to, and if you're not the kind of person that's into friends, 
just make an effort to make connections with people, you know, because you never know what could happen. And again, you're so far away from the rest of the United States. Chances are you're so far away from your family and friends that are down in the States. It's very helpful to be a member of some type of group. So if you're that kind of person, because I will say you're definitely going to need a support system up here. If you're going to be by yourself, then Alaska might be right for you. All right, and so this is the last point that I'm going to make, I think. Um, if you are the kind of person who is aware of your surroundings, you're the kind of person who is mindful of the places that you're going to, you know, you don't just kind of wander aimlessly around um, the city. Well, maybe depending on if you grew up or if that's your hometown, you might do that. But if you decide to go to another city that you're not familiar with, if you're the kind of person that pays attention and you just have like hyper awareness, I would say, um, not only from a human standpoint, you know, the humans that you might in encounter up here, the people, but also wildlife. I'm telling you, it is not uncom uncommon to go outside see a moose standing next to your car what are you going to do are you going to freak out maybe and not saying that's not warranted but that's just something that you have to be aware of you could cross paths with a bear in your neighborhood right <laughs> so that's just something you need to be aware of there's an abundance of wildlife here and it seems like which is weird to me um well maybe it's not but they've been developing a lot of the land in alaska and maybe that's why we see so much more wildlife, whereas before they were kind of hidden. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure that you're, if you're not the kind of person right now that tries to be aware of their surroundings, try to work on that. Because that's definitely something that I would suggest if you're going to be a single woman moving to Alaska. All right, so that is all I have for you today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share the video, and don't worry, gentlemen, I have you covered. I will throw some things out there to see if Alaska is right for you as well. And I think too, some of the points that I brought up in this video could apply to men as well. So anyway, I'm gonna sign off for now. You all take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Everybody, I can go like this.